welcome to chocolate cream pie. Chocolate cream pie is a one crust pie, and this one crust pie you actually bake the fill, the bake the pie crust, then you add the filling. All right, so we are going to get the pie crust ready to roll here. So I, you grab two pieces of wax paper, and you put some flour on each one and spread it around. So I usually just put flour on the first one, and then dump it over here, the extra. And then there we go. All right. So we have, when you guys make this pie, you are making a full size pie. So your dough is going to be much larger. For the purpose of the demonstrations, we're making these in tart pans, all right, which are much smaller. But yours will be full size. So you want to get this as close to a sphere as you can. That will make your rolling much easier. You put it in the middle and flatten it into a disc. Okay. Flip this over so that the floured side is what's touching your pastry dough. Now we're going to roll this out, and we need it to be about an inch and a half bigger than our pan upside down. Okay? I'm going to start in the middle, roll to the edge, and lift. And then I'm going to turn it in the middle to the edge and lift. If you roll off the edge, it's going to be paper thin, and it will just break when you're trying to work with it. So I keep doing it in mo this motion to try to preserve as much of the circle shape as I can. Okay. So now I'm doing the diagonals. And now I'm going to start on the straights again. Now I'm going to do the corners. Now, some of you may be asking, why am I not using the handles? The handles put pressure out here, but not in here. And I want even pressure across the pie crust. So I'm putting my hands here to put my pressure there. So that I get a nice even pressure across the entire pie crust and not just on the outer edges. Now, most professional bakers, their rolling pins don't even have handles. And they're usually marble. Okay. So you just continue this process straight up and down, straight left to right, then do the kitty corners. And you should be pretty close to a circle when you get done, okay? It's not perfect, and it never will be, but at least it's close. All right, so we need just a smidge more here, and we need a little bit more right over here. Hi, we are back into our uh, bakery season, and we are making pies. And the filling that I'm going to demo for you today is chocolate cream pie. So as it's been said, we showed you the video on the pie crust, and so this is a one crust pie, and it is a cream pie, and so it's a custard type that we are making. So the first thing we are going to do is we are going to combine our sugar, which of course is for flavor, our flour, which will help thicken it. It's not the only thickening agent here. Okay and our salt, which helps break the sweetness just a little bit. Okay. And at this point, we are not turning it on. And I'm going to whisk these together so they're nice and mixed. And that sugar and that salt is evenly incorporated into the flour. Okay. Okay. So it's all night, and it's this is off. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do are we need four egg yolks. All right. So I am going to, here's my eggs. And this is my garbage bowl because I need the yellow. Now the yolk is also a major thickener. Okay, so there's one. We need four of them. So we'll be right back when we have we're four. back, and we have our four egg yolks. And what we're going to do is we're going to add our two cups of milk. And we are using whole milk, which is will make a nice, rich uh, chocolate filling. And we're going to mix this together. 
Now you want to incorporate those eggs into the milk and by using a whisk we're adding air and we definitely need to make sure that all four egg yolks have broke. So as you spin this, look for egg yolk that has not broke. And I think we're good here. Okay, so now we are going to mix this into our dry ingredients. And again, I'm going to make sure that all the yolks broke, and they did. So I'm going to make sure this is all mixed up. And now we're going to turn it on low heat, and it's on seven, which is good. And we need to cook this until it is thick. So at this point, I am going to remove, not use the whisk, and I am going to use a rubber scraper. Now you could also use a wooden spoon, but um, in a commercial kitchen, they typically do not use wooden spoons. And so you can see there's a little bit of mixture still on the bottom, which you can get off with the wooden, with the um, rubber scraper. And this will help you make sure that everything is well mixed. And these are commercial grade rubber scrapers, so they're not going to melt when they get hot. So this is going to take, I'm going quite some time. I would guess five or six minutes. So we will be back. Hey, hi. And we are back, and you can, it's been about five minutes, and we have pudding. It's nice and thick. So we're going to pull it off the heat so it stops cooking. So at this point, we are going to add our vanilla and again you always add vanillas at the end extracts it could be almond vanilla at the end otherwise all the extract cooks off very quickly and this is going to give a very nice flavor to it and we're going to add some butter now if you were making vanilla cream pie you would be done after adding this butter okay so this would be your vanilla cream to make a vanilla cream pie but, oops, all right, we will not add the tin foil in. Okay, so here's our vanilla cream pie. It looks great, but as you know, everything's better with chocolate. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to add our chocolate chips to this very hot pudding mixture, and that will melt it. So you can see it's already melting very quickly. and it smells delicious. And you just keep stirring until all those chocolate chips have melted. So this is going to be a very nice rich pie crust, or pie filling. Now, um, chocolate cream pie is a single pie, a single crust pie, all right? That means there's no pie crust on the top of it. All right, so this has to be cooled before it goes into the pie crust. Otherwise, if you put this right into your pie crust, the pie crust would get very soggy. So then when you pick it up out of the pan, it would just fall apart. All right, so we're going to chill this overnight, and then tomorrow you will put it in your pie crust and finish your pie.